If the Nissan Qashqai were capable of feelings, I reckon it would be pretty scared right now. For a long time, it's been the default choice for growing families looking for a small yet practical SUV. But competition is getting tougher all the time. And the Qashqai status as king of the small SUV is under threat from cars like this, the Seat Ateca. It's the Spanish brand's first SUV and looks a real contender on paper. But what's it like in the real world? Well, that's what we're going to explore in this review. In its cheapest form, the Ateca comes with a one-litre turbocharged petrol engine, which is fine for around town. However, if you plan on travelling with a couple of passengers or spending much of your time on the motorway, we'd recommend going for one of the bigger versions. Our favourite is the turbocharged 1.4 litre petrol because it's strong and refined. Plus, it isn't much more expensive to run than the 1 litre. The 2 litre diesel also impresses, but it's a lot more expensive. When it comes to ride comfort, the Ateca can feel downright harsh on bigger alloys, so we'd recommend sticking to the 17-inch wheels. Around town, it can still feel a little unsettled, but it's definitely on the more acceptable side of firm. The upside of the Ateca's stiff suspension is that it keeps things well controlled over dips and crests and limits body lean through the corners. Combined with steering that's precise and quick to respond, it makes the Ateca a lot of fun. One thing everybody wants from a small SUV is a comfortable, commanding driving position with a clear view of the road ahead. And the Ateca offers that, which is great news. You also get these sports seats, which hold you tightly in place through the bends. And adjustable lumbar is standard on most models. In terms of interior quality, it's more than a match for the Qashqai and Kia Sportage, but the Peugeot 3008 and Audi Q you too are better still. Entry level S versions of the Ateca get a 5 inch touchscreen, a USB port, and Bluetooth. But SE models and above have this larger 8 inch system. The upgrade also brings Android Auto and Apple CarPlay functionality, meaning you can control your smartphone using the car, and all the menus are clearly laid out. Let's see how easy it is to use. First of all, I'm going to put in a new destination. So we will click on London Heathrow. Do I need to put in the street? No, I'll just put in centre. That's going to take me to the airport so that I can go away on my lovely sunny holiday. <laughs> Telephone. Find telephone. Rebecca's iPhone. Excellent pair. There's plenty of space in the front of the attacker, and each of these doors can take a large bottle of water. Meanwhile, in the rear, there's loads of leg and headroom, and even the middle seat is quite comfortable, although you do need to find somewhere to put your feet. True, the Ateca doesn't get the sliding and reclining rear seats from the Volkswagen Tiguan on which it's based, but the seats split and fold 60-40 to let you expand the already large boot. An adjustable boot floor is a relatively cheap option, and when it's in its highest position, there's virtually no load lip. It is worth noting, though, if you go for the four-wheel drive model, the boot is slightly smaller. The Ateca is far cheaper than a BMW X1 and Volkswagen Tiguan and compares favourably with a Nissan Qashqai or Kia Sportage. It's also worth noting the Ateca will hold more of its value after three years than its two main rivals, although servicing costs are slightly high for its class. In terms of spec, we'd avoid the entry-level S model because it's a little basic. Instead, go for SE, which gets you 17-inch alloy wheels, cruise control, rear parking sensors, 8-inch touchscreen and climate control. In addition, every Ateca has automatic emergency braking with pedestrian detection and the car received a full 5-star rating from Euro NCAP. 
So even though it's Seat's first attempt at an SUV, the Ateca heads straight to the front of the pack. It's one of the most well-rounded cars on sale. For more about the Seat Ateca, including our full online review, head to whatcar.com.